Hello, my name is Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm going to be doing a August book haul for you today. So forgive me as I melt as I do this video. Um, but these are the books that I've picked up or have been sent to me in the last month or so. And there are so many here that I am thrilled to read. So yeah, stay tuned and we will get right into it. First up is a book that I picked up from Book Outlet, and this is Saul Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. And I picked this up because I saw a lot of people recommending this book, not just YA readers, but just general readers. So I was very interested in this feminist YA novel that has elements of horror and like fantasy in it. And yes, I've heard so many recommendations. So I picked this one up and I've already read it. So I will be reviewing it in my July wrap up. So stay tuned. Next up is a book I feel has a very similar cover, um, and that is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. Rory Power came here to Greenville, um, but I missed it because I had just been out of town and I didn't make it in for the signing, but I did pick up a copy um, so that I could read it. And I've been very interested. I've seen mixed reviews of this book. So I'm very interested to see where I lie on either side of uh, the spectrum. So sometimes I just want a YA, women focused book and I feel like this and Salco Girls definitely fit that bill so we'll see we'll see my feelings on it. So another book I picked up at Book Outlet uh, was this one The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee and my book club just read uh, a Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. And this is the sequel and this is about his sister. And she is asexual and is very logical and wants to be a scientist and different things like that. And so I remember in the first book, she would be reading medical textbooks and put like the covers of romance novels around them. And she just is such an interesting character. And honestly, she's kind of a favorite. So I'm very much looking forward to this book. I think we're gonna be reading this book next year for book club. So I don't know if I will wait um, until then, but I'm excited to have it and it's still a book outlet if you like. Of course, my affiliate link will be down below. I just get reward points if you want to check out book outlet. So yeah, so that's A Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that cool? So another book I picked up uh, was Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. And this was definitely one that you had to be there and, and drop it in your cart and run because there were a lot of them, but I picked up a copy and I'm very excited. I do want to get uh, Vicious, which is an older novel of hers, but they did a cover redo, so it matches. So I definitely want to get the matching cover, but I really enjoy V.E. Schwab as an author and her career is fascinating. So I look forward to reading this one and oh, this one's out from Tor. So the last book that I bought myself from this haul is The Good Immigrant, 26 Writers Reflect on America. And I saw The Good Immigrant, the UK edition, wander around uh, a lot of booktube channels. This is one of the only anthologies that I've picked up this year, but it's definitely, if you're going to pick up one, this is a good place to go, I think. So I was sent the feminist book box um, for Reading Women Month. It was one of the prizes. So we took photos and different things for it. And the book that was in the feminist book club box was White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism by Robin D'Angelo. And I'm going to include a link to the feminist uh, book club box uh, in the description box so you can go check them out. They had a bunch of different goodies in the box, uh, but I've been wanting to read this book so it's perfect that it came in the box. So now I have a copy. So this book was actually sent to Autumn from, by Knopf, um, and this is Black is the Body, Stories from My Grandmother's Time, My Mother's Time, and Mine by Emily Bernard, and I've heard so many good things about this book. I have been waiting for my turn. Autumn read this first and really enjoyed it, so I'm very excited to read it now as well. I've been very much looking forward to reading this one, so stay tuned. I already have the audiobook for this. So this is the pretty much the only galley brag that I am going to do this year, and that is this one. Uh, the Dutch House by Anne Fatchett. Like, I can't believe this came in the mail. Like, I requested it. I didn't think I would get it. And it arrived. And I'm very excited that it arrived because, I mean, look at that. Uh, I really enjoy Anne Patchett's mind, like her, the w thoughts that she is trying to communicate, the ideas, I should say, and how that plays on the page is very interesting to me. I've yet to completely gel with an Anne Patchett novel, but I haven't read a ton either. So I feel like this is time. So I'm just gonna make these random gestures of excitement and joy because Anne Patchett. Just, oh. she wonderful. So the finished copy of a book that was one of my most anticipated at Book Expo is uh, 
The Hollow Kingdom by Kira Jane Buxton. I've already read this. And you can see the arc actually in my red pile there. Uh, and that one signed. And this is about a crow named ST. And it's basically the secret life of pets meets The Walking Dead. So imagine The Walking Dead if it was told from the perspective of the domesticated animals, and that's the story. It's sort of like you take Disney and you turn it on its head and add zombies. It's wild. It's so weird and wacky and wonderful, and I listened to the audiobook and I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna be talking about it later. I don't know. It's just so weird. And I feel like we need a weird and wonderful book. This would be a great book to read in October or on Halloween where it's kind of creepy already. Yes. Uh, but I think this book and its cover are just so fun. So stay tuned for that review, but I'm so happy to have the finished copy come in. She's actually going to be at the Decatur Book Festival in Atlanta. I'm going to miss it this year because I'm in a wedding, but I would highly recommend going there. Also, you should go to the Cater Book Festival because Ocean Vuong is going to be there. So, yeah. Yes. So another book that was sent to me is very nice, and this is out from Knopf, and this is by Marcy Dermansky, and she wrote a novel called, I believe it's called The Red Car, or just Red Car, I'm not sure, but I read it back... I don't know when it first came out what three years ago or something and so I've been very much looking forward to very nice and I don't even know what it's about I couldn't tell you I don't want to know I read Roxane Gay's review of it and she gave it five stars and I was like yes I don't need to know anything else I feel like part of the author's storytelling is how she tells the story not just what the story is and her writing is just so fascinating I just sit there like how did you do that how did you write that way I don't know it all makes sense but how did you do that so yes do go check this out if you haven't already I, I feel like it's definitely flying under the radar and it I feel like it probably needs more attention probably so the next book that I have to show you is a sequel and this is The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang and this is out from Harper Voyager. It's coming out I believe in August. I'm not sure. I'll put the publication date down below uh, but this is the sequel to The Poppy War. I just noticed like yesterday that this is a person in the bird. Phoenix? It's a phoenix I guess knowing the story uh, but this is about a young girl who well I mean it's basically set on 20th century history in China. You have uh, this country that's sort of like Japan and the interactions of the different wars going on at the time. And this is about Rin who is a war orphan from a previous war and she takes this like national test and ranks in the highest tier of smart people and basically is sent to this top tier military school and she gets there and she thinks like the biggest challenge will be getting there and she discovers that it's even harder to stay there and it's such a competitive environment and they cut so many people and etc so on and so forth and so she goes to this school and she does all of these things that I won't tell you because of spoilers. This is the sequel. I can't tell you what the sequel is about because that gives spoilers for the first book. So just know I'm very excited about this book. I buddy read the first one with Russell over Ink and Paper blog and I'm already pestering him that we need to read this one. The last book I have is something I saw at Book Expo but I didn't have time to pick up because you're basically running the entire time you're at Book Expo, running around to different places and different arc drops and things. So I missed this one and I was so sad that I missed it. So I was messaged them and I was like, hey, saw you, didn't get a chance to get a copy, but would you send this to me? So this is Godland by Liz Lenz and this is a story of faith, loss, and renewal in middle America. And I was reading the back of this and it says that she had an essay in the anthology Not That Bad, Dispatches from Rach rape culture and that she holds an MFA in creative writing and this is her story with leaving the evangelical Christian movement and you know being in the Midwest and her experience with that. I'm very much looking forward to reading that. I've read similar things uh, from like Rachel Held Evans and, and different things like that so I'm interested to see her take on it and it, it really is in the religious conservative community a huge topic right now for obvious reasons about the politics of the different religious communities and how they intersect with each other and all of these things and so I'm very interested to see a, a lot of the different people's takes on it so I'm interested to see hers and I mean this is a beautiful book it's a naked hardback which honestly I think all hardbacks should be but 
It's just a gorgeous book. It's from Indiana University Press. But I also know that Autumn's going to be stealing this pretty much as soon as I'm done with it. So I probably should get on this. All right. All right. So those books that I have picked up recently, uh, definitely check out the description box for links to all of these books so you can go find them. Also, the book outlet information is down there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely let me know if you are interested in any of these books and if you'll be picking them up soon. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.